China's stocks are rising to their highest levels in two weeks as investors anticipate another year of low interest rates and solid growth. But with signs of inflation on the horizon, could China be a bubble about to burst? We've heard a lot of warnings about that. David Riedel is founder and president of Riedel Research Group, and he joins us live from San Francisco to discuss this. And David, uh, great for you to join us. Morning. We've had several uh, pieces of warning over the last uh, several weeks or so from various people, most recently Bank of America, uh, saying that there is a bubble forming in China, particularly in the property markets. Is it or is it not overinflated? Well, I think that's very localized. I mean, just like the property market in the U.S., you can't talk about a property market across the whole country. You may have overbuilding in Shanghai or in Beijing or in certain places, but China's a big country, and there's a lot of second- and third-tier cities where there's a tremendous opportunity in property and real estate, all kinds of opportunities across China. I don't think a bubble's forming at this point. Okay, well, let me stay with this property then, David, because if you're saying that in these second- or mid-tier cities that there's still opportunity, uh, then how would you invest in that? Oh, there's plenty of Hong Kong listed ways to do that. We like Henderson Land, uh, a good land bank, as they're converting some existing land in, in China into uh, areas that they can build. Just watch for those com companies that already own their land bank, and it's focused a little bit away from the coastal areas, more towards the middle of the country. But then, it, but would, does that mean, though, that they would be, uh, I guess, protected if we did see a bubble burst in some of the larger cities where arguably uh, there is a bubble there? No, that's quite right. It's exactly. But it's a question like looking at the United States. Do you want to own high-end apartments in Manhattan? Maybe you do. Do you want to own uh, a, you know, houses in Detroit? Maybe you don't. I, I, you know, you've got to look around and not just throw it all in one big, big bucket. That's a mistake a lot of people make. Okay, David, let's move on from property or related to this, which is the stock markets, because where a lot of money goes into property also goes into the equity markets. In China, uh, you saw this huge run-up this year, but then a bit of choppy trading as we got to some of the peaks. Uh, is there more upside? Is equity money still going to flow there? I think there is going to be some equity money flowing there. I think that some of the larger trades in China are a little bit crowded. They're, everyone's been so enthusiastic about the growth there. I think it's a little bit crowded. I would predict it to be sideways for the next few weeks and maybe into the next couple of months. Uh, but I think there's a good opportunity in 2010. A lot of that depends on, on your views on the dollar. Longer term, I think the dollar is going to weaken. But 2010 could have some dollar strength in it, as we've heard from some of your, your other guests. That would be good for China. Right, good for China, but bad, you say, for some of the exporters, manufacturers, also online gaming companies. You say avoid all of those in China. Well, online gaming is a unique uh, a subsector in China. Uh, the Chinese government has said very clearly they intend to crack down on um, unwelcome content and some of the things they don't like to see in, in online games. I would expect that to take place during January and February, and I'd avoid NetEase and all the other guys that are in online gaming. Too, too uh, scary right now. Okay, all right. So an export is a manufacturer, I can imagine, because if you expect the dollar to rebound, that might not be so, such good news then uh, for the Chinese exporters. That's right. Is it really a question of what they do with their currency peg? I think that China is going to do whatever they think is in their interest uh, with regard to the, their currency. I think that they mean that uh, stays very tied to the dollar. Okay. David, good to talk with you. Thanks so much. Uh, discussing China. Thank you. David Riedel of Riedel Research Group. And